Last week, we visited one of our fave Food Network chefs, Michael Chiarello, at his store, Napa Style, in Berkeley, California. Here's what he had to say. Julia Child asked me to do a demonstration with her. Now, there's a point that Julia, an age that Julia got, that, that she no longer stood and did this. She sat on a stool, and she would talk. And then she would take a young chef that she was really trying to get behind and, and promote them a little bit. But it would be her recipe. And I was doing this dish, chicken meringue. Going through the book, you know. I'm going through a book. I'm cooking over here. It's Julia Child. I better get it right. Go back. I hate cooking from recipes. I hate it. So I'm reading this thing. Okay, do this. Right, the temperature that okay. Now what? And, go, and she stops like nobody's here. There's 600 people in front of me. She says, Michael! <laughs> she says, Julia, do you know the dish, chicken meringo? <laughs> and so we get to the battle in the meringo and the boy, she grabbed the book, she slammed it shut. I just cooked the goddamn thing! <laughs> do you think food is inspiring? What music is to gospel? Right, food can do the same thing, right? right? Music opens up your heart. You know, for, the, for the preacher in a good Baptist church, drops in a couple good words, shuts it with a good tune, sends you off for the week. Food can do the same thing. You open up to who you are, you cook a little something, everybody warms up their hearts to you a little bit. You, you share something with them, some shirt with you. It's meaningful. Close up their heart with a bite of something good and send them on their way. The Greeks were building the Parthenon. They were busy. And they said, Very busy, must build Parthenon, no time to eat. What will we do? Ah, let's take our bonzo beans, turn it into hummus, take some pita bread, eat with some good cheese and wine. This is fast food, we can eat while we go, but it's good for you. Build Parthenon, very important. Fill in the blank. A successful party is... When you spend at least half as much time at the table as your guests do. When the wine doesn't cost more than the entree costs for four people, a bottle of wine.